Back to cocoa line. Stretch. And the reason that I'm bringing this, okay, going to lengthen out all of your muscles through just the, bleh, bleh, bleh. Hi guys, Suzanne here and welcome back to Coco Lime Fitness. Thank you so much for joining me again today for your workout. So I am back to bring you a brand new series called Tone and Stretch. And the reason I've called it this is because we're going to be doing traditional stretching exercises to lengthen out all of your muscles and calm your nervous system. But we're going to be moving in a dynamic way through those exercises to get the heart rate up and tone up every different part of your body. It's amazing, it's a perfect combination workout. So if that sounds good to you and you're just having kind of a tired day or a pain day, or you're just in recovery from a hard workout from the day before, then come join me. All you're gonna need is a nice squishy mat and some water. I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, we're just gonna get right into the routine because it includes stretching, so we don't need to do a warm up. So the first exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you from the side and any of these moves that you need to grab a chair for, please do so until you get more comfortable with them and eventually you won't need the support of a chair. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put all of our weight on our standing legs. And we're gonna do eight different repetitions of this move. You're gonna take one hand on the top of your head and then you're gonna take the opposite hand and grab the top of your opposing leg split. Okay, so catch your balance here. And what we're gonna do for eight repetitions is lengthen out, squeeze your back, and then in, going nice and slow. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale as you bring that leg in, exhale as you come out. Squeeze that back, it helps support your core. Okay, we got four more, you can do it. Smile. You feel it in that standing leg? I know I do. Last two, hold those abs in, hold that core. It's the stability of your body. Last one. Okay, so for the last repetition, we're just gonna hold that leg out. Hold, hold, hold. Four, three, two, one. Woo, how'd you do? That was tough, right? Definitely tough. So we're gonna switch sides. My heart rate is already up. Okay, so we're gonna put all of our weight on the opposite leg here. Arm on head, grab the top of your foot, catch your balance. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. This one's hard to talk when you're breathing. Very good, how you doing? You're halfway through this tough balancing move. Okay, you only have three more, you can do it. Woo, that standing leg should be shaking. Yes. Okay, last time we're gonna hold it out and catch your balance here. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop it down. Amazing, amazing work. That was not easy. Okay, so for the next exercise, we're gonna do pyramid stance. So I'm gonna show you from the front, it's just a little bit easier so I can face you. So you're gonna take one straight leg out in front of you, and then the back leg's toe, you're gonna point out at an angle, okay? And you can go as far apart as you like with those legs. Hold your abs in, you're gonna turn both your arms out to the side and airplane, and you're gonna drop down with that straight leg in front, looking up to the ceiling and twisting your torso. 
Hold here, catch your balance, and then come back up. Here we go. The stability comes when you're looking at the ceiling, yes? That's when you wanna fall over because you're not sure how to balance yourself when you're not looking at the floor, yes? Pull those abs in. Let's just do two more. Feel this in the back of your legs. I know I do. Last one. Come down. Hold, hold, hold. Grab your ankle. If you're really flexible, you can touch the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. That one felt amazing. Okay. Let's just do the other side here. Hold those abs in. Straight front leg. Drop it down. Just get your bearings here. Look up at the ceiling. Here we go. One side might be easier than another side. But that's normal. That's okay. Oh, we're getting a muffin top workout too, I think. Working that muffin top. Are you breathing? Last two. Last one. And get ready. You're gonna hold down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come back up. Whew. Amazing, amazing work. Okay, so for the next move, we're gonna do a standing figure four stretch. So again, this is one that you might need a chair for if you're having a stability issue today. So what you're gonna do is take your arms out into airplane to stabilize your core, and you're gonna cross one leg over the top of your standing leg's knee. As you come down into a figure four squat, you're gonna pull your arms forward and then pull them back, squeezing your upper back. So I'm gonna show you from the side. Ready? Here we go. Nice fluid movements here. So make sure that you put all your weight in your standing legs heel so that you don't kink your knees. Woo, I feel this all the way down my back. <sighs> Hold those abs in. Last two, you can do it, come on. Last one. This is the tricky part, guys. Come down, hold. As low as you can go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome work. So for this side, I'm gonna look at you because it's hard for me to look at you when I'm facing the window. So we're not gonna do that this time. So bring your arms out, smile. Get ready to have some fun. Here we go. Very good. Can you see why this uh, workout is toning every different part of your body? Oh my goodness. Who needs weights? Who needs to jump around, right? We don't need to do that. I'm already sweating. Do we have two more? I think I lost count. Okay, let's just do two more for good measure here. Okay, come, come down. Slow, slow, slow. Hold, hold, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. Be proud of yourself if you got all the way through that move without falling over. Okay, so for our next move, we're gonna do an inner thigh and oblique stretch. So take your feet out as wide as you can here, and you're gonna come down, 
into an inner thigh lunge here with both of your knees pointed forwards. So don't kink your knee out to the side. When I'm both to go forward, you're gonna lean over on that leg, stretch it up and over, really working the top of your quads here, so come as low as you can. And as you come up, switch sides. Here we go. You breathe in. Now you're not gonna feel this unless you come down very low into that lunge. Okay, we have two more on each side. Oh, it feels so good. This is like our recovery move right here. Okay, on this side, you're gonna hold it over and come as low as you can. Take that hand that's supported on the knee down to the floor. Four, three, two, one. Drop it to the floor. Four, three, two, one. Wow. That was amazing. Great work. Okay, so the next move is a little bit challenging. So if you need to grab a chair for this one as well, no worries. And if you can't get your leg up quite as high as you would like, then don't worry, just keep practicing it and eventually you'll loosen everything up and get back to where you'd like. So I'm gonna show you from the front first. So you're gonna take your fingertips and place them right here in between your collarbone. Bring your knee up to 90 degrees parallel to the floor. And you're gonna to try to keep that height while you kick the leg out and the arms out. Okay, I'm gonna show you from the side. Ready, here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep going. Now I'm gonna show you the difference. If you don't lift that leg up to 90 degrees, you're not gonna feel it. It's just not gonna have the same effect. So, work hard, fight through it, last one, and try to keep that leg up. Hold, 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 hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mama, oh my goodness, that was so tough. Whew. Okay, so we gotta do the other leg. So, put all your weight on the standing leg you just worked, so by the way, it's tired, so it's probably gonna fatigue faster. Bring that knee up to 90 degrees. Catch your breath. Here we go. Oh my word. Try not to arch your back, hunch over. That's the tendency. Don't do that. Keep your back straight. We got three more. Three. Two, one. Ah, oh, here's the kicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. I think that was our hardest one yet. Yeah. Heart rate should be spiked. You should be sweating. Okay, guys, so for our next last four moves, we're gonna come down to the mat. Yay! So excited. Put my microphone there okay so we're gonna go into bridge work you're gonna come all the way down and make sure that your back is supported on the floor okay so for this one you're gonna clasp your hands underneath your booty squeezing your arms your triceps together as hard as you can and you're gonna come up into a super high bridge pressing all of your weight into your heels Okay, so your toes should be able to come off the mat. So you're gonna squeeze up for eight. Eight. Seven. Squeeze that low back, guys. Six. And man, this move helps with posture. So you stand up taller, you look taller, you look thinner, you have less health problems. It's all around great. 
We have two more. Come on, last one. Okay, so here's the kicker. Hold up to the top, lift those toes off the floor, squeeze those arms for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh, is it time to stretch yet? Oh my goodness. That felt so good. Okay, so we're gonna do a tricep push-up into a child's pose. So for tricep push-up, your fingers are pointed forward and your hands are about shoulder width apart. You're on your knees here. And your hands should be just underneath your chest. So you're gonna come down, slow hold, up, child's pose. Ready? We're gonna do eight. Hold your abs in. Always working that core in every one of these moves. Creates that long, lean, toned body. We're halfway done. We only have four more. And don't you love that child's pose stretch in between? It's like dessert. <sighs> Working those arms. Last one. Okay, so for the stretch, the last hold, you're gonna come halfway down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yeah, that one really burned, for sure. Okay, so for the next move, we're gonna come into planks and then go up into like a bent leg pyramid here. So this is one of my favorites. How about you guys? I feel so good on the back of the legs. So you're gonna go into a straight arm, straight leg plank with your chest above your hand, squeezing your booty. You're gonna go here into a pyramid stretch. So your head is in between your arms. Ready for eight. Eight. Seven. When you come back into the pyramid, try to press your heels to the floor. Get that nice, deep hamstring stretch. I think we have two more. I might have given you an extra one there, but it's a bonus stretch. Okay, last one. Hold your abs in, pyramid. Oops, my hands are slipping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Hands are like too sweaty. Yeah, this works. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for our last and final move, we're gonna do a one-legged mountain climber back in that plank position into a penguin stretch at the end. So you're gonna go back into those planks and you're gonna do a one leg mountain climber and you're gonna do that eight times. So it's back out, same leg. Eight, squeeze your abs. Seven, six, five, four, three, it's burden. Two, last one. Bring that knee up and into pigeon pose. This is my little treat for you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just your little perk because the mountain climbers were so hard. Back to mountain climber, other side. Eight, seven, six, don't let your booty creep up. Don't come up here. Four, three, two, ah. Okay, last one. Pigeon it out. Ah, dessert. Amazing, I'm dripping sweat. How about you guys? Should be dripping sweat. Okay, let's swing those legs forward. Be so proud of yourself. That was, that was an awesome workout. I have to admit, like one of my favorites for sure. Okay, 
So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below if you liked it. If you wanna see more like this, I plan on making more. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See, I'm out of breath, can't even talk. Please subscribe for notifications whenever I release a new video so you don't miss one. And please give me some love, like, or thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys. I think you're amazing. Thank you for your support. I know we're a small community here, but we help each other keep going with our battles of sickness and fatigue. So hang in there. Hope to see you next time. And I hope you have an energetic, stress-free, pain-free day. Take care. Hi guys. I am so excited because we finally released the Coco Lime Fitness app and the iTunes app store. And you are going to love it because everything is accessible in one place. You'll find the programs there, you'll find exercise modifications, testimonials, free workouts, tips and tricks, Q and A, it's all there in my new free app. And don't worry, if you don't have an iPhone device, you can download the program still at my website at cocolinefitness.com. I'll make sure to put the links below. So I hope you enjoy the app, guys. Take care.